Yo guys, what is up? This is Blender Choxy, and I'm doing a very well overdue tutorial here on texturing. I am incredibly sorry for the lack of videos. Uh, loads of people have been subscribing. I have 200 subscribers now. So I needed to get tutorials up there because I know people have been waiting and asking and things like that. I have questions that I still need to answer for people. I'd just like to apologize. I've been bettering my skills. I did record a tutorial, but the it went awfully. The outcome was disgusting, and I didn't feel happy uploading it. But, right, you should hopefully get something that will look sort of like this quality of work. It's nothing amazing. Oh, i got stuff on my desk a moment. It's nothing amazing, but um, it's it's good for sort of like a a basic kind of texture that you can use until you get better in it if <laughs> I suppose uh, because my texturing skills are awful but I it's better than nothing you know so I'm just gonna get straight to it by texturing a pistol I won't be texturing the P90 pistols are much easier to texture so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to create a new folder on your desktop I'm doing the Beretta 87 target that I modeled so Beretta 87 target folder this is kind of like a links folder if you're using InDesign so everything that you do for the texture goes in this folder so we're gonna drag the 87 target in there and I'm gonna open this everything is in modular pieces just like we did with the P90 so there is the sliding action so that that of course goes back like so uh, it goes back approximately this far I believe I'm led to believe it goes back that far but okay first thing you're gonna want to do is join all the pieces together that require different materials so I'm gonna look at this and if I get a picture I have a picture here somewhere uh, this will have to do so as you can see like this so this handle here is gonna be one part the clip are different this are different and then everything else I think can be the same then so if we look at this so obviously I'm going to select this, 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 this. Just gonna go around selecting all the different parts that will be one material, okay? So that covers almost everything. So yeah, control J to join those. I'm gonna quickly sec select the origin to ge geometry and we're just gonna select that and move that down like so. Is there anything I have forgotten? doesn't seem to be so if I select that that is one piece the clip is one piece the slider is one piece anything I've forgotten there definitely shouldn't be no nah, there isn't right so I've gotten everything and I'll probably will have forgotten something but we don't know that yet so I'm just gonna go right ahead here and we're gonna I did do a uh, rubber rubber I did do an ambient occlusion tutorial and that is sort of what we're going to do and then we're just going to edit this texture in a free program known as GIMP uh, which is I think is graphical image manipulation program or oh, gra graphic uh, either way GIMP we we'll call it GIMP for now so you're going to want to right click there which is what I did there split area and then there it is in the middle and you can move that across like so and we're going to select this here and we're going to go to UV slash image editor how long are we gone for good so now what you're going to want to do I've covered all of this in my ambient occlusion tutorial but I'm going to quickly do it right here so you guys can see so we're going to select which one we want to actually AO to do this I think I'm actually going to want to move that out like that a bit further like that so that there's no problems with the ambient occlusion of course so if I was to select that now go into edit mode select everything and press U for underpants and then smart UV project and OK right as you can see here that is outside of the line so what we're gonna wanna do is re go through all of that but the island margin we're just gonna wanna drag that up a little bit and that didn't you keep messing around with it I'm gonna set it to one just to make sure that it fits which it does okay there we go there is our AO we're gonna create a new texture I'm gonna make this 2048 by 2048 because I like to go overkill with the resolution to make it more defined and nice looking and this is going to be the actual body of the gun 
So we're going to press OK. I'm going to quickly switch to textured mode. And I am going to now go to this tab here. going to click the render tab or scene. Yeah, it is render. So I'm going to scroll down right to the bottom where it says bake at the bottom here. So here it is. going to create, uh, select bake mode and go to ambient occlusion. And I'm going to set the margin to 10. And what the margin does is basically it also ambient occludes outside of the line so there's there shouldn't be any texture seams or anything like that so uh you're good to go so there's no black lines on your models so just gonna click bake it'll do its magic up here like uh elevator music while we wait and wait and wait and wait there we go the ambient occlusion for that is now done if you have any black pieces like this here that just means that the normals are the wrong way around and I also remembered something here I have to actually fully move that out for this so if I reselect that you have to basically what you have to do press L for I was gonna say lesbians oh and I did say lesbians L for lemons to select that whole piece and you can do that with anything that just it selects the model piece okay so I just press L on that so it does that and then there should be an option down here re flip direction here so now that is no longer see-through the normals are no longer inside out uh, that seems to be okay for being inside out so we're just gonna rebake that okay like so and then we'll wait for it to do its magic once again I can't believe I just said lesbians on a tutorial video okay now that that is like that, we just put the slider back into its place. So if I move that to about uh, here. The reason why I'm lining this up here is because for the animation, the slider will only go back that far. Because if there's no ammo in the gun, that'll flick up and, and lock it there. So it doesn't really need to go behind that. So I'm just going to quickly do exactly the same as what I did before for this. Okay. God damn it, what is it with these unwraps today? Uh, that is on an island margin as well. Ooh. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to scale that down. This is going to be very rushed from me because of the amount of time that we actually have. So, now that that's like that, I'm going to create another texture. I'm going to call it the slider 2048 by 2048. And click, oh, oh go away. Okay, there we go. Now that that's a ready for ambient occlusion, I'm going to quickly do that. Okay, now we're going to slide that back into its place, which is about there. That is about right. Um, yeah, that looks okay so far. Now I'm going to do this here. Exactly the same. Oh, I'm going to set that to zero. Okay. Ah, there we go. That's more like it. So, I'm now going to create another new one. Grip. 2048 by 2048. This is kind of like a rinse and repeat. All of this will be near enough a rinse and repeat. It's just how you look at it and how you do things. So, I'm just going to bake that again. Now, for the clip, you pretty much do what you did for the slider. But you actually move it out of the gun because the AO won't pick up any light from the inside of the clip because it's inside of the gun. So you won't be able to texture it because of how dark it is. So we'll just go ahead and do that once that's occluded. Okay. View right. And we're just going to simply drag that out like so. And then we're going to ambient occlude that. Um, urgh, rage. Okay, there we go. New. Clip 2048 by 2048. Kind of dozed off a moment there. Okay. How long have we gone for? Nine minutes. Got another six minutes, so we are okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, come on. Shift your posterior. Right, okay. Now we're just going to drag that roughly back up to where it was before, which is about there. So we are okay on that. Yep, that's just about right. So, now the next thing you want to do is go to image. So I'm going to select that image. Save image as a uh, image go to desktop the Beretta 87 and that was the clip if I remember clip so we're just gonna save that there as a PNG 
we'll boom. So now we're gonna we're gonna do the same for everything. So we're gonna bring that up, save as image. And that was the grip. Save that. Now we're gonna save the body as the image. Body, save as image, and now the slider as the. Oh wait, what am I doing? Uh, the slider is the final piece. No, in there. Slider, save as image. Right now, we don't have to do anything in Blender for now. I could probably get this done in five minutes easily. So what we what we're gonna do now is we are going to get all the texture files that we probably need for this. So I have a metal texture here. I'm just gonna pick which one is my favorite. Uh, this one looks about. This one looks good enough. So I'm gonna copy that and pop it in here paste there we go and there is another texture which I'm going to need uh, M1911 texture here the grip so I'm gonna copy that you can model that in blender using an array tool but it's much easier to just go off the texture I'll upload it to my Dropbox and put a public link in the description for you guys to download that so you can do it with ease I got four minutes so we're gonna open GIMP so if I do that okay here we go. GIMP takes a while to open. It's, it's rather slow. So. Da, 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 da. Ruffle now. Ah, my computer is bugging out. Apologies for the glitchy computer. Okay. Now that GIMP is open, what we can simply do, I'm going to start really quickly with, say, the slider. Okay, so we're just going to drag the slider into GIMP. You can download GIMP for free, by the way. Uh, it is a free-to-use program developed by university students, and it's very good. I suggest you use it. So, we've got our texture there. We're going to quickly go here into our folder, Gun Metal. Just going to drag that in, like that. So we're going to use this tool here, which is the movement tool, and we're going to move it down here. And I'm going to click on this up here, right-click, duplicate layer and then I'm gonna drag that across like so make sure it's perfectly aligned and then I'm gonna right click the top one and merge down so they become one and then I'm gonna do the same for this so you're pretty much covering the entire image with this so merge down and then I'm gonna click the scale tool here and click that so it goes up like that and scale I will do a GIMP tutorial I've already done a GIMP tutorial pretty much what I'm doing now but in less detail so if you guys want to check that out for a better understanding then you can so once we've done that we are simply going to click on this image and go to mode and go to overlay right and we're just going to duplicate that again and maybe again so that's a little bit too dark so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the colors tab and go to levels so I can brighten the one up to give it oh, uh, that makes it more defined and then I bring this down I believe I bring it down. Do I bring it down? No, I I don't. <gasps> a weird thing there. So I basically get the color that I want. I'm uh, getting the color that I want. I want that color. That color is good enough for me. So obviously, there you go. And we go into a lot more detail with this, like adding details for the grip and things like that. But for now, you want to get the basic colors done and you want to make sure that it looks okay so I'm just gonna quickly edit the color a little bit more it needs to be brighter than that or not darker brighter so it needs to be like a light silver color so that is good enough for me for now so file save as and then I'm gonna save it as slider under scroll texture texture oh oh texture oh, typing fail right okay slider under scroll texture I know it's probably not called a slider but I don't care so there it goes there's that how long have i got no i got enough time to quickly add the thing so we're going to go back into blender we're going to select the slider and go to image replace the image and select slider texture so as you can see that is now the darker color and we can continue to edit this how we like when we like it and i will do that next episode once we have done the rest of the gun I hope you guys enjoyed this small part, and I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I'll probably get to recording part two right after I'm done with this. So don't worry about anything taking too long to upload. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you. Goodbye.